when you finished your time study you can go to the summary tab here and uh, by default it will show you the average time of course if you change it whatever you change it to becomes a default but when as installed the average time will come up so you'll see the total time the minimum maximum number of observations and the average there are other options here you can see short is repeatable just by clicking it here and the numbers will change right this is the time that the operator is able to perform more than once right uh, most repeatable this is the time that the operator performed most of the time uh, longest repeatable it's just there for you know display purposes you'd never use that and of course the minimum and the maximum time the most common ones again are the average obviously the shortest repeatable and the most repeatable now if you're ever looking at one of these values and you see a value in this column the end column here of zero it just means that there's only one observation being made in other words uh, there's not been a repeat yet for it to make a call yet now you can control the accuracy of the uh, the different calls here by these various selections here you can see uh, if you get long times you might want to group them into particular blocks of time right one is the default you can see the round up here is, is on or off here and that can have an effect for instance if I go to the most repeatable time notice my value here when I round up is six five and one whereas if I uncheck this it becomes five four and zero that's because of the rounding now obviously in most cases you'd like to give the operator a, a, the benefit of the doubt so probably rounding up is the um, is probably the most logical thing to do in most cases and again uh, remember if you go back to the data collection that whatever your last selection uh, was it will be remembered by the program so when you come back in here be sure and have a quick glance up here to see which one has been displayed so you know which one you should be dealing with